Welcome back to TV5 News at 9, everyone. Time now for Aging and Style with American Retirement Advisors. Of course, joining us right now, we got President Owner Joe Vitale. So thanks for joining us, Joe. You're How welcome. are you? Doing good, Blake. How are you doing? Good, good morning. Yes. So don't forget Joe's newsletter, Financial Vitals, all the latest market trends and financial news. You can actually get right to it by scanning the QR code on your screen right now to get that access. But today's topic is planning for your future, which is uh, very timely. It's Financial yep. Literacy Month. Yep. And today we're gonna be going over what you need to know when it comes to your personal finance. Yeah. So Joe, I wanna start off, how much will Social Security really help secure our future? Oh, uh, it's nice if it's there, but let's, let's, let's pretend it's <laughs> okay. gonna be there. I think okay. it is. Uh, we hope to see more people paying into it because it is it does have problems. Uh, for many retirees, it's a huge part of their retirement. It is, it, I mean, it's nice that reoccurring income to make sure that they can pay their bills. It's a big piece of it. I would like to say, depending on how old you are, you don't want to depend on it. It's a great bonus. I'd like to say it's going to be there, and I think it still will. Okay. Um, but I think it's very smart to think of other avenues, other ways, but I still think it's going to be a big part of it. Um, but yeah, for sure. Got a recommendation on when to start saving or how early to start for maybe a 401k or IRA accounts? Yesterday, yeah. uh, as soon as possible. <laughs> uh, great story because my daughter's in college. She's going to be graduating and she, she asked me the same question. Dad, how do I know when I get the job to budget? How much to put in my 401? How much do I put at debt? You know, you look at the debt snowball. You say take the little debt, put it towards student loans and everything like that. But especially when you've got a match for 401k and mm -hmm. they're going to give you free money, you never let that free money go. Right. You maximize it and as much as you possibly can. There's other strategies. We want to look at our IRAs. We want to look at Roth. We want to look at tax-free. There's so many strategies. And when you're younger, you've got the, the magic of compound interest and the time value of money. Right. The sooner you get it in there, that money is just going to double and double and double. So you definitely want to put some into it as soon as possible. Very good. Good to know. And then what role would you say debt? That plays in retirement savings and planning. Debt is a big one. You know, we, we like to get rid of debt as much as possible. Um, and I've had people in the past say, you know, why don't I just refinance my house and throw that money in the market? Yeah close to retirement. I'm like, yeah, never. Because when you go in, when you're talking getting into retirement and you've got debt, that's more money you need to have and it's more stress mm -hmm. and it's more, you know, just not giving you the ideal life. Uh, so I don't like a lot of debt in retirement. There is such thing as smart debt if you have a 1% or a 0% APR. Okay. I mean, I don't mind that as long as it makes sense, but I like to get rid of debt totally and just make sure you're very cash strong in retirement. Yeah, because then, you know, if you're stressed in retirement, what's the point of retirement? What good is that? Yeah. You're going to be dead in no time. So, yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, creating a budget now will help your long-term retirement goals? I mean, budgeting sounds like it's Oh, my a gosh. Great Absolutely. Thing. Especially if you're on a budget and you're comfortable with the budget. And a lot of times when you get into retirement, you're going to say, wow, we've been budgeting this for our whole lives, and now we've got extra money. Mm. Um, and it's a nice thing to have because now you can take those trips, do what you want to do, and not have to worry about it. But it, it's good. We have a lot of our clients, well, they'll have every month we have money put aside for their trips. They take three, four trips a year. Mm. They've got the money for it. It's put aside in a special, so they don't have to worry. That's awesome. That's the way to retire. Yeah, very good. And uh, best place to maybe get a budget in place? The best way to do that is, is the best time is, is now... Um, we use a lot of times, you know, with Dave Ramsey, we use a debt snowball. Yeah. We make sure put money in envelopes, you know, get that budget going. But when you get that budget in place and, and, and you just say, okay, this is what we want for this, for this, especially when it comes to paying yourself first, right? You give to charity, you give the bills, but you pay yourself and you get that money going and then you've got money for what you want to do. It just makes everything awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, talking about debt, those who do carry long debt or large debt, um, is that how do they start paying that down so it helps them in the long oh, run? Oh, yeah. That's, you know, it, Dave Rebby Smart Vester, we used to always help people all the time. The debt snowball, right? Yeah. If a lot of people have a lot of debt, and what you do is you start with the little ones, pay them off pay one off after another, okay. especially with the higher interest rates. And then a little bit, you get, you're able to put more money and more money, it becomes a snowball. Before you know it, you're out of debt. Wow. So you kind of, you basically, it's, it's part of doing without, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, nobody likes to say you can't do this. You got to do without. Like, oh, everybody's used to free spending and, and you can't do that. If you really want to get out of debt, you attack it, yeah. you get out of it. And my gosh, I'm going to tell you, a, couple, a few years ago, I paid off the cars and they were only at a 2% rate. Okay. But I paid off the cars and I'm like, the feeling you get to have no debt 
is awesome. You don't have to make a ton of money to have no debt. You just have to be diligent right. and say, you know what, I can do without this. I can sacrifice. And the feeling you'll get afterwards is amazing. So it's a good, it's a good deal. When you say I could do without this, like the large coffee. The large coffee at Starbucks. I mean, I'm, okay, f full disclosure, I make my own coffee every day. <laughs> okay. I make a cup of coffee. Of my, I travel every day with that, and I don't stop to get coffee. It, I mean, and not that I can't afford a $5 cup of coffee, right. but I would rather, I, I mean, that, how much do you save? I save $150 a month by not buying coffee yeah. every month. I just make it at home and I take it with me. So these are things that everybody gets used to having the, the frou-frou or the, all this, this, you know, this coffee. <laughs> yes. It's like, we don't always do it. It's like, oh yeah, fine, have a treat. You know, if you do without it, treat yourself once in a while, for yeah. sure. But, and let it be a reward for your diligence. Let it be a reward for you doing without. Yeah, you know? and paying so that debt. That's it, 100%. <laughs> yeah. All right, Joe, anything else you want to add at all? You stay the course, be smart, and you'll be, have a wonderful retirement. So just do, do the hard work on the, on the onset. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Appreciate Mike. you. All right. And don't forget to get those market updates and more through Joe's newsletter, Financial Vitals. And for more information on today's topic, Aging and Style page can be found on WNEM.com.